I think we get involved with people, experiences, friends, for reasons that sometimes we can't comprehend. We get involved with people because perhaps we're trying to fill a void. We feel invalued. We feel invalidated. So we look for some things outside of ourselves to complete who it is that we think that we are. And despite ourselves being limited to present ideas of self, only at a later stage when we holistically understand that perhaps these choices, experiences and people weren't vibrationally correct for us at the time, only then we understand the concept of soul ties. In the natural realm, these circumstances would seem like a no-brainer, but in a spiritual sense, it binds two people together indefinitely until you cut the cord. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Janard Martin. My main objective is to create videos to help every person transcend their level of conscious awareness. I make videos like these to enlighten you and to encourage you, but also to remind you that the spiritual journey is far more important than the physical journey and that everything begins spiritually before it manifests in physical form. There are blueprints for each and every single one of us. There is a roadmap about our divine experiences and the choices that we have yet to make in our life. We have chosen our family, our parents, our experiences. We have chosen our career and the things that we feel most aligned to. We've chosen the key fated decisions in our life. But the people who we've had soul contracts with are where we should be weary. I have often done things that I wouldn't necessarily say that I regret. I just think that, you know, as you become more at one with yourself, as you become more connected to who it is that you are destined to be, you no longer entertain any room for error in the sense of, you know, connecting with people who aren't meant for your highest timeline. And as much as they were good for the time that they served in your life, it's important to understand that you can't hold on to the energy and the spiritual connection that you once shared with them. It is sad, but it is true. Later on in my video, I will elaborate on how to cut soul ties with people you have connected with in the past and hence to cultivate a timeline where you are on a high vibrational frequency where you will never encounter them again. In the positive light, this can create a divine union where a couple is quote unquote equally yoked. But on the negative side, it could tie someone to very destructive patterns and cycles in their life, which they seemingly have no control over. In a demonic sense, this can also connect someone seemingly innocent to ungodliness or unholiness, as it would be said in religious context. One person can continuously be manipulated without their consent. Their entire life trajectory, their cycles and their blessings can be blocked because of an ungodly soul tie. You know this by how you feel, how connected you feel to the other person and how your emotions shift to extremities. You can also be psychically linked and connected to someone and feel their thoughts, emotions and energies. Let me know in the comment section down below if you felt the energy or the thoughts of a person that you've been intimate or connected with in the past. As much as I have a spiritual channel referencing Bible scriptures, it's important to understand that everything that has ever existed in this universe has been spiritual before it was given a name. As much as the Bible speaks about do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, that essentially is a metaphor, which means that you should not engage or associate with people who do not operate on the same frequency and vibration as you do. And naturally, 
as you avoid those sorts of altercations, those people, those experiences, you will be shifted onto a timeline where those things and people do not exist, but only with your level of conscious awareness. I've done many things for the sake of validation, for the sake of just wanting to feel something, which we all do when we get in spaces where we can't really comprehend and understand ourselves truly which is why I felt like I really needed to create this channel so I can share my personal journey and experiences, perhaps my inner world with the world around me. And I want to remind people that as much as your spiritual awareness increases, so does the level of attraction in your life. Hence, you can attract more things, experiences and people that are far more suitable for where it is that you are destined to be. Now, it's important to always hold space for yourself and to forgive yourself for any sort of connections that may have not worked out the way that you planned at the time, but understand that everything operates in divine flow and divine union with the timeline that you manifest. We cannot keep every single person that we encounter in our life, in our personal space and vibrational frequency. But there comes a time where we have to let go of uh, the nostalgia of the sensations and the feelings that we felt on the timeline where we weren't going to head to where we are heading now. Now always hold space for yourself, forgive yourself for any choices and experiences that you may have had and you didn't know any better. It's important to understand that as your level of spiritual awareness increases, so does your value and understanding of your true self. You begin to honor yourself on a level that you couldn't really describe before. You honor your feelings and you don't go against what it is that your boundaries have set for you, especially on an intrinsic level where you cannot describe exactly why you feel the way that you do, but you just do. <laughs> if you want to connect to your highest timeline possible, it's important to understand that sometimes the spiritual hindrances that you are experiencing or the necessary obstacles or seemingly bad luck in your life is not coming from you. And you'd often wonder where on earth are these experiences coming from? Why are things not going well in my life at this point in time? I've tried everything, but now it seems like there's just this wall blocking me from where I am and where I'm destined to be. Despite it not having a definitive use in spiritual texts, it is referred to in very subtle ways. The term soul ties has become extremely new age. It has been coined over the last century and has been used to describe intimate spiritual connections with people in the spiritual realm. It ties people by their physical body, but also by their spiritual body. In a sense, it keeps your timelines intertwined collectively, which means that your progression might be hindered if the person you are connected to is not good for your highest good. Now, I said earlier that we have chosen our experiences and the people we have soul contracts with. Now, what are soul contracts? Soul contracts are essentially contractual agreements spiritual contractual agreements where you and other individuals who are in your immediate environment have agreed to experience each other on a third dimensional level. So you've agreed to experience each other in human form to teach each other necessary lessons, necessary experiences and to enlighten each other. But not all soul contracts are good. That explains why all these relationships that us as human beings experience in our entire timeline of our life are not good for us. And had we a little more conscious awareness, we would easily tell what is destined for our highest good and our highest timeline and what isn't. Now, in the sense of spiritual ties, these are unions that seemingly feel inescapable. You feel the thoughts, feelings, emotions, desires, even the manifestations of yourself through the lens of another person. You are essentially psychically linked to someone. 
Now, in a spiritual sense, many spiritual leaders, teachers, advisors have said that we have a silver cord connecting from our navel to another person. That is essentially our astral body to our physical body. Now, our physical body is experiencing everything physically, but our spiritual body is what we should hone, understand and deeply connect with if we are to connect to our highest timeline. Now, spiritual ties can be positive and negative. The Bible has various scriptures referring to this. Now, spiritual ties can connect you to inanimate objects. It can connect you to people and experiences which you have no physical intention of ex experiencing, but due to your spiritual realm connection with this person through the act of intimacy, you are now feeling trapped. You are now feeling like the only way to continue this journey in a physical sense is by connecting and keeping this person in your life. And that is not always the case. In Genesis, Ephesians, Chronicles and Acts, even in Samuel, there have been mentions of soul ties where you are connected to someone beyond physical sensations, beyond physical touch. Have you ever been in a committed relationship and all of a sudden you can understand your significant other's feelings, thoughts, emotions and experiences? Have you been away for an extended period of time and realized that you are feeling a disconnect because of how much you are missing each other? These are all things that soul ties point towards. Now through this physical act of intimacy, not only can you be connected, but your destiny can also be halted, which is why it's important to understand who it is that you're intimate with, because your gifts can be taken from you. When I say gifts in a broad sense, I mean your destiny can be averted because you're not operating on the timeline that you're meant to, because either another individual can be manipulating you spiritually or you just haven't cut the cord. Now you're probably wondering, how do I cut the cord? It doesn't make any sense. I didn't choose this. <laughs> to break spiritual ties between you or soul ties between you and another person, you can use two candles with a rope wrapped around it and burn them simultaneously. Repeat after me. I release you with a full heart with love for the place that you've once held in my life. May you be happy in the life that you have chosen. I now take back all of the energy that has been taken from me or that I have given away freely. And I return all the energy that I still hold from you. May I be free from the ties that bind us. May all cords be cut, transmuted and dissolved. May all energy return to its original sender with power, peace, and forgiveness. I ask that this is complete and sealed now. And so it is. It's important to understand that your spiritual energy is literally your life force energy. Everything that you have within can be manipulated, can be misused, and can be taken from you. Every day your spiritual energy is being drawn from and absorbed through your devices. This includes sex. You can also say a prayer and call upon your benevolent ancestors or whatever it is that you work with or believe in to rid yourself of the connection. Reaffirm that you are no longer connected to this person and you no longer wish to be on the timeline simultaneous to when you were with that person. Now, I don't even mean this in a ridiculous religious sense. I mean this in the sense where I am trying to create awareness for you to understand that this is very serious and this can prevent you from getting where you want to be in life. Now, that is why the Bible or any religious text or scripture emphasizes time and time again that you should not be engaging in sex for the sake of pleasure. Now, as much as I'm a hedonist and I came, I came into this earth similarly to you to enjoy this human experience, you just have to be very aware. You have to be very aware and conscious. You need to understand that you are a vibrational match to what it is that you are attracting 
and at some point or another your vibrational attraction can change so you can no longer be connected to that person on a physical level but on a spiritual level it's this inescapable lag and tug on your energy and it's important to preserve your energy so that you can utilize it for your highest good which is what i teach on this channel i teach that we all have a blueprint we all have a plan that we have chosen prior to our birth and incarnation on this planet we have soul contracts we have all those things but only until you're consciously aware of those things can you make necessary changes in your life's trajectory now despite this blueprint that i mentioned not going 100 according to plan due to your free will you are more than able to reconstruct the blueprint without the spiritual connection or soul tie with someone that is not on your highest timeline this is why people get divorced often and this is why things don't go well in people's lives because they are spiritually connected to something that is not operating on their highest timeline and vibrational frequency you can hence renounce all ungodly ties with anyone you are in control of your life but you are only in control when you are aware that you have that sort of power when you are aware of how important your spiritual energy and attention is that's when everything changes it's important not to be spiritually bound to someone especially if you are not physically connected to them because your paths destinies and timelines would be intertwined indefinitely and only until you are aware of the fact that that is the cause only then can you make changes once again thank you so much for joining me take care for now